Hello, listeners. Welcome to Health Talk Radio Africa. There has been renewed interest in hibiscus and its many health benefits. In recent years, its popularity in the continent has steadily grown. In the last 20 years, urban people in Eastern Africa are discovering the pleasant taste of hibiscus as well as its medicinal properties. I am your host, Dr. Mary Mugambi, and in this episode of Health Talk Radio Africa, we explore what is in hibiscus that is of medicinal value from hibiscus tea, infusion, decoction, or extract. Listeners, who would have thought that the beautiful flower that could be growing in your garden has so many uses. Hibiscus grows around the globe. Hibiscus is known by numerous names such as Kakade, Rosella, and Surin, among others. It has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. When you walk into your local supermarket, the list of products with hibiscus is long. Hibiscus is used in production of juices, soft drinks, ice cream, jam, chocolate, fermented beverages, jellies, syrup, sauces, chutneys, among others. Hibiscus is also used as a food coloring and flavoring in baked products. Chances are high that you have consumed a food product containing hibiscus in the last few months without even knowing it. Our focus today is on hibiscus as a tea, infusion, and extract. Here in Eastern Africa, there is a growing interest in consuming hibiscus in the form of tea, infusion, extract, and capsules. This is because hibiscus is very rich in groups of phytochemicals that have medicinal properties in the human body. The scientific names of these phytochemical groups are flavonoids, tannins, carotenoids, polyphenols, and anthocyanin. Each of these phytochemical groups has unique medicinal properties. The most well-known phytochemical groups are the flavonoids and the carotenoids. Flavonoids has a set of active compounds known as curutin, rutin, camferol. Carotenoids have a set of active compounds called lutein, beta-carotin, lycopene. By the way, carotenoids are responsible for the red, orange, yellow color of the hibiscus flowers, as well as the red, orange, yellow of fruits and vegetables. So what are the medicinal or health benefits of hibiscus? Listeners, to look for proof that consuming hibiscus does have benefits to the human body, we looked into the gold standard of scientific evidence or as close as we could get. Our search for the evidence on hibiscus led us to scientific reviews. Reviews look at clinical trials that have been conducted in the past few decades. These reviews 
reanalyze the clinical trials collectively and make new conclusions on a medicine, a product, or an intervention. Most of the human studies on hibiscus in the past few decades used tea, infusions, extracts, and capsules. We were pleasantly surprised that hibiscus does indeed have a long list of medicinal benefits to the human body. To name a few of these benefits, Hibiscus does the following. Drinking hibiscus reduces blood pressure, it reduces anemia, it reduces inflammation, and for diabetics, it reduces blood glucose, improves insulin sensitivity. And the best of all, it has antioxidant functions in the human body. Let us talk about a few of these benefits which come from drinking hibiscus, ranging from just a few weeks to six months. Take blood pressure. For people with mild to moderate blood pressure, drinking hibiscus normalized or reduced blood pressure to comparable levels to people who are taking certain conventional medicines. For cholesterol or blood lipids, drinking hibiscus reduced total cholesterol. There was reduction of the bad cholesterol known as LDL. There was also reduction of triglycerides, the form of fat found in the blood. As a blood builder, drinking hibiscus stimulates the formation of erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates the bone marrow to make red blood cells. Hibiscus also improves hemoglobin, which is the color of the blood, and hibiscus increases the number of red blood cells. Kidney protection. People who had some kidney ailments had improved kidney function. They had improved laboratory values, reduced losses of nutrients in the urine, which is problematic for people with kidney problems. Reduced inflammation. Drinking hibiscus significantly reduced inflammation. Antioxidant activity. Drinking hibiscus improved antioxidant activity in the body and there were more antioxidants in the blood and body fluids. Increased antioxidant activity was the largest benefit from drinking hibiscus. But what are antioxidants? Listeners, our bodies have trillions of cells. These body cells use oxygen in metabolic reactions or body processes. Oxygen reacts with body compounds and this produces a very unstable molecule called a free radical. These free radicals attack the body cells. They cause damage to the body cells. They change DNA and the protein in the cells, resulting in cell damage and inflammation. Damage from free radicals causes many non-communicable diseases, even aging. 
when you take nutrients that are called antioxidants, they neutralize these terrible free radicals that damage the body cells. The result is reduced inflammation. By neutralizing the terrible free radicals, antioxidants remove them from the body. Proof of antioxidant activity in the body can be measured in the blood and body fluids. Listeners, by now you're asking, how does one consume hibiscus? Hibiscus can be consumed in the form of a tea, an infusion, decoction, extract and capsules, and even powder. Hibiscus tea is made by placing a hibiscus tea bag or dried flowers in a cup of hot water and steeping it for a few minutes. Hibiscus infusion is more concentrated than the tea. An infusion is made by placing dried flowers, otherwise known as calyx, in a cup of hot water, steeping them for 15 minutes to get the active compound. Hibiscus decoction is the most concentrated of the beverages. The dried hibiscus flowers or calyx are boiled for 30 minutes to extract the active ingredients. Hibiscus extract is a very concentrated form of the active compounds. These active compounds are extracted using an organic solution such as lemon juice or lime juice together with hot water. The extract is then refrigerated and used in small amounts over time. How much hibiscus does one need to consume to get the medicinal or health benefits? Listeners, there is no established dose. To observe a health benefit, majority of the clinical studies required drinking one to two cups of hibiscus tea in the morning and one to two cups of hibiscus tea in the evening for several months. For hibiscus powders, the clinical trials required putting two teaspoons in a mug of hot water in the morning and evening for several months to observe a benefit. To get health benefits from the hibiscus extract, the clinical trials required the equivalent of an eighth of a teaspoon in half a liter of water in the morning and an eighth of a teaspoon in half a liter of water in the evening for several months. Please note that no clinical study in the past few decades recorded an adverse effect from drinking hibiscus. However, it is important to exercise caution in several groups of people. Hibiscus has been very effective in reducing blood pressure. If you have blood pressure and are taking conventional medicine, such as hydrochlorothiazide, first talk with your medical doctor before taking hibiscus. 
there can be a big drop in blood pressure that may cause you problems. For diabetics, also check with your medical doctor before taking hibiscus. There can be a big drop in blood sugar that may cause you problems. Also, listeners, remember that even though hibiscus has many health benefits, it cannot replace a healthy diet. Hibiscus should be drunk or consumed together with a healthy diet. A healthy diet is the only way to ensure that the human body gets all the nutrients it needs for good health. Listeners, that brings us to the end of this short episode here at Health Talk Radio Africa. I always welcome your comments. Just drop me an email at healthtalkradioafrica at gmail.com. I thank all the listeners who have sent me encouraging messages to continue with this podcast no matter what happens or what obstacles we face. Your words of encouragement keep my team and I going. This episode was sponsored by a new me press prosthetics. A new me restores confidence in women who have undergone breast removal due to cancer or trauma. I am your host, Dr. Mary Mugambi, a dietitian coming to you from Nairobi, Kenya. Until next time, listeners, remember to eat healthy so you can live healthy. Bye. Bye for now.